Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. We are here today because we're doing one of our favorite videos. You guys love it. I love it. It's so much fun. We are going to different fast food drive through places and trying new items on their menus. I think I'm going to do a video next week where I try things on the menus that I've never ordered before in my entire life. So please, please, please leave a comment down below of things that you think I should try because I don't think I've tried a lot of fast food places, like everything on their menu. So there's going to be a lot of options out there for me to try. So please comment down below things that you love ordering. Let me know the place and what you order and I will go try it. Things that I've never tried before, as you guys know, I've already tried the Burger King Whopper. But if you want me to try the Whopper again, please let me know. Right now, we are at Popeye's. I'm going to see what's new on their menu. Last week, we tried their little fried shrimp poppers, shrimp popcorn. I think that's what it was called. I don't remember, but they were delicious. So let's see what else is new on their menu. Okay, we are in the drive through Let's see. Okay, I've already tried their signature hot wings. Um, and their shrimp tackle. Shrimp tackle box. That's what I had. <gasps> Ooh, looks like they have a new flounder fish sandwich. And a surf and turf. Would that be their chicken tenders? Which are delicious with the shrimp that I had last week. We shall see. I, I also tried their mango lemonade last week. Okay, let's see. Hi, do you guys have anything new on the menu? Uh, we have our flounder sandwiches. Okay, can I try your flounder fish sandwich? Uh, would you like that classic or spicy? Ooh, can I please get it spicy? Spicy, and did you want to turn that into a combo or just a sandwich? Um, just a sandwich, please. Just and that's all that's new on the menu? Uh, uh, that's new? Yeah. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's it today then. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Ooh, a pink car. There's a pink car in front of me. Okay, let me pay and then we shall try together. Okay, friends. First thing we are trying, we have here the Popeye's flounder fish sandwich. I only got the sandwich. You can also get a combo, but I only got the sandwich. So let's open this up and see. I'm so excited. Ooh, fancy bag and napkins. What? We love napkins. Okay. And you can get it regular or spicy. So obviously you guys know I got spicy. Let's see. It smells amazing in here. Ooh, it keeps it all hot. I love this little bag it comes in. Okay, let's pull the baby out. Nicely packaged. Ooh, the bun has a nice glossy finish on top. And then inside looks like we have some type of sauce with pickles, the fish, the flounder, the flounder fish, and then more sauce and the bun. Okay. Let me show you guys. Ooh, it's so um, glowy on the outside. This is what it looks like. This is the Popeye's flounder fish sandwich. The fish feels very crispy. Let's bite into this and see what the hype is about. Mmm. Okay. Hmm. The buns on the outside, delicious. Very soft. Hint of salt. Overall, very, very soft. Just melts in your mouth. The buns are very good. Mmm. Spicy. I like that kick. You just know that this is the spicy one. I hate when fast food places are like, do you want spicy or regular? And you get the spicy and you're like questioning yourself if you even got the spicy. 
you're not going to question yourself with this one because it definitely is it's got a it's got a, um, a kick to it nice amount of heat the fish sorry oh my god the fish is cooked perfectly um the the fish is very soft by the way it just dissolves in your mouth and the sauce The sauce is spicy as well. The sauce definitely is some type of mayo sauce. Um, yeah, I really enjoy this. But because everything is so hot, it feels as if the bun is falling apart. Mm. The sauce is spicy. But I like that when I ask for spicy, like this is what I'm asking for, you know? Mmm, that was a good bite. I got the bun, the sauce, the fish, and the pickles. The pickles are very good. Wow, this is so hot, like a really, really hot sandwich. Mmm. If you like fish fillets, this is a good sandwich to get, and I highly recommend the spicy. I really like the kick that it has. I think it makes it less boring. But yes, 10 out of 10. The flounder fish sandwich at Popeye's, 10 out of 10. I highly recommend, I recommend the spicy one too. Get the spicy. The fish is so good. It doesn't taste fake and you don't question the fish. You don't want to start questioning fish at fast food places, but this feels very good. I trust it. And the sauce is delicious. Mm. Mm hmm. 10 out of 10. Okay, the next stop we are going to is McDonald's. We're going to McDonald's because they have, ooh, a Hummer. Oh my God, I need to stay focused. I haven't seen a Hummer in like ages. I can't tell you the last time I saw a Hummer. A Hummer. I can't even talk. The spice is kicking in. I think the last time I saw, do you guys see the Hummer? It's coming. She's right there. Um, I think I was in like high school or middle school and that was a very long time ago, like 12, 14 years ago. So we're going to McDonald's because they have a new sauce, I believe, um, that I'm really excited to try. And then I'll tell you where we're going after. We're just, we have so many places to try together. So the good news is McDonald's is actually right behind me. I do know that I want the sauce and their chicken, chi chicken, chicken nuggets. Wow, I can't talk. I do want their chicken nuggets. Um, McDonald's also has a really good uh, frappe. Have you guys ever tried the McDonald's um, caramel frappe? Oh, that used to be like everything to me. And then I used to get their iced coffee all the time, but they never make it the same. Like every time I get it, it always tastes different. So it kind of throws me off a little bit. Um, but I'm definitely excited to try their new sauce. Oh, I'm so excited to be at McDonald's. I also love their cheeseburgers. Their cheeseburgers are really good. I grew up eating Burger King more than McDonald's. And then as I kind of grew up and like went to college I started eating McDonald's more than Burger King okay we are up let's see oh they have their shame uh shame shame rock shake let's see is it shame sham sham rock shake uh, you be using your mobile app today? no I will not be do you guys have anything new on their on the menu? Do you have we have our double Big Mac? Sorry. We also have the have you different chili with McDonald's sauce for the McDonald's? Oh, okay. Can I try that one? A ten piece with mine? Um yes, a ten piece is fine. Actually, can you guys do a six? Yes, perfect. And then can I try your um, green shake? Can I get a small, please? Um, and that's all that's new on the menu, huh? Uh, yes. Okay. And that's it for today.
Awesome. So it's going to be 759 to like round up to 8 for Ronald McDonald House. Sure. Okay, thank you so much. Ooh, I'm so excited. I tried the green milkshake before, but I don't really remember what it tastes like. Ooh, do I pay here or up there? Where's my card? Where's my card? So, such a beautiful day outside. It's so nice to not see rain. Just kidding. I see rain clouds but we're gonna make the most of today, okay? We are back. We are actually in the same place that we sat about five minutes ago. Okay, so I have all of my stuff. We have the green milkshake. I just discovered that there are certain words I cannot say, um, and I wanted to share them with you guys. So Carlos's middle name is Eduardo, and I cannot say it. I think it sounds so weird whenever I pronounce it. It's E-D-U-A-R-D-O. Ed Edguardo? 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 I can't say his middle name. Um, I also cannot say the word uh, hormono. Hor like, she's very hormonal. Hor hor oh my god. Um, hormono. I can't say it, you guys. I have been trying for so long now. I can't say that. Um, oh, like if you're going to a gender reveal, I have to really emphasize and slow down the pronunciation of the word reveal, like a gender reveal, because I will pronounce review, which is like um, a movie review. Um, anyways, that just came into my head because I have a feeling that I cannot pronounce shame rock shake. Maybe it's a little tongue twister. I have no idea. But I also got the McDonald's Comeback Weekly to unlock new mega and more. Oh, how cool. Okay, so this is the McDonald's collaboration here. So I got the six piece chicken nuggets. Um, with the McDonald sauce. This is the sauce right here. I will be trying this today and I'm very, very excited for it. And we got napkins. I'm so excited. I've been collecting napkins because I never have napkins in my car. And thank you so much for the reminder, but I totally forgot to go to Target the other day or I was at Target and I forgot to buy like wet wipes or like tissue paper for my car. So this is the six piece chicken McNugget and then we have the Shame Rock Shake. Okay, let's see if this is good. Okay, here we go. Mmm. It smells like a very popular Asian sauce. I just can't think of it right now. And it's pretty dark. Looks like it has some chili peppers in there. Mm -hmm. Very, very Asian inspired. Definitely vinegar, sweet, sour, salty, spicy. This sauce would be so good over some uh, chow mein noodles. So I'm going to put my sauce right here. I have my six-piece chicken McNugget. Oh, I will say I love McDonald's chicken McNuggets because the outside is so crispy, friends. Like, look at that. I love it so much. Okay, let's try it with the, with the sauce. We're going to dip, dip. The best way to describe the sauce would be it tastes like the sweet and sour sauce but with more vinegar and more spice it's very asian s like i can imagine the sauce all over some chow mein noodles mm -hmm. it's very good though Mmm. 
usually when I go to McDonald's and I get the chicken McNuggets, I get the sweet and sour sauce or I get the barbecue sauce. I don't think I love this one too much. It's really good though, but it's not something that I would personally prefer. Okay. Let's try the Shame, Shame Rock Shake. So excited for this. We have the Green Shake, which I believe this comes out on the McDonald's menu every March for St. Patrick's Day. So keep that in mind. And then on the top, there's whipped cream. I've had this before, but I'm telling you, I have no memory of it because it's been so long. Oh, she thick. Mm, it's really good. It's minty. I love that. She's chunky and thick, though. You really got to suck to get her up. Mmm. Creamy, minty, tastes kind of like mint ice cream. I appreciate the thickness. I hate when milkshakes are watery. Mmm. It's very good. I think it's um it's a favorite. Everyone kind of loves this. Mmm. Yum. Very, very good. I would give the shake a 7 out of 10. Oh my god. I always rate things out of 10. I told you guys I would start rating things out of 5. I'm going to do 10. 7 out of 10. The sauce, I would give a 7 out of 10 as well. Mm. When you eat the McNuggets fresh from the drive-thru, it is so crispy and so hot. Whenever I DoorDash it or Postmates or order it home, by the time it gets to the house, it's just so soggy. Do you guys hear that crunch? Oh my lord. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's so good. I can only finish a 10-piece, though. I believe they have a 20 and a 40, which obviously is so good for, like, party time. This one looks crispy. Mmm. Delicious. Hello, we are now at Dunkin' Donuts because I heard that they have a spring menu. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Spring is probably one of my favorite seasons. I do like all the seasons, but I think spring is just so pretty. Summer's nice, but the heat pisses me off. I hate heat. Ugh, it pisses me off. Nothing triggers me more than heat. And we live in a place where in the summer it gets up to like 110, 115 casually, like no big deal. And then the low is at night is like 95. Um, anyways, I'm so grateful to be alive, but I just don't like summer heat. Um, and then I do love fall because I love the warm tones. I love like Halloween and Thanksgiving and how cozy it is. And then winter isn't bad. I just wish I would like winter more if there was like snow, but we are here because, of, uh, oh my God, last time we were here, I almost lost you guys too. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Okay. We're good. Ugh, I can't lose you. Like we're best friends. 
Um, yeah, I heard there's a spring menu. Oh, there she is. She's right there. She's called Sparked Energy. Hi, how may I help you? Hello. Oh, are you guys out of the Sparked Energy? Um, I don't think so. Let me double check. Oh, okay. It says sold out, so I wasn't sure. Oh, okay. So we're out of the sparkling water, but we have like people have been doing it like regular water. So it's just up to you. Oh, okay. I'll do that. It's just one's carbonated, huh? The other's not. Yeah. Okay. So um, berry burst or the sunshine? Can I please try the berry burst? Okay. And then is that all that's new on the menu today? Um, as far as like today, yes. And then we have like a banana chocolate chip bread. Ooh, can I please try that? Yeah. Um, and that's good for today. Thank you. Okay, I'll have a total for you up here. Awesome, thank you. We have our drink. Okay, so they ran out of the sparkling water. So basically she said, we have the drink. We just can't make it carbonated for you, um, but it tastes the same. It's just not carbonated. So this is more of like a subtle tea flavor. Um... I love carbonated drinks, so I'm kind of bummed, but it's okay. At least we can still get the flavor, and I can tell you if it's good or not. And then she said they also have a new banana chocolate chip bread, which comes in this little bag. Very simple, on-the-go kind of vibe. So I'm going to try this. No, I'm going to try the drink first, and then we shall try the banana bread. So let me open this up. I'm so excited for this. Wow, that's great, Kim. Who opens a straw like this, by the way? I always try doing it this way because I see the baristas do it, and I never do it as smooth as them, so then I look stupid. Okay, a little ASMR. I'm so bad at this. I don't, you know what? I don't even know if I'm doing it right. Okay, I'm supposed to be whispering for ASMR. <laughs> Ooh, do you guys want to hear it down my throat, maybe? Yum. Oh, that would taste so good if it was carbonated. Oh, or like sparkling. Oh. It tastes like a berry Jolly Rain Ranger. Jo oh my god, I said another Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher. Yeah. A Jolly Rancher. Yeah, that's the candy, right? It tastes like that. It's just very, very good. So at first it's sweet, but it kind of leaves a little bit of a sour ending. Hey, you guys, I'll be right back. There's a There's a lost dog in the... Oh my god, okay. There's a lost dog in the field. How do I get... How do I get in there? There's a lost dog. Over there, I think. Where is he? Oh my god. Okay, he's running to the owner. He's running to the owner. Oh, let me drive around. Did you get your dog? Oh my goodness, you guys. So this was my view right here. 
I was parked right here earlier and this was my view while I was trying the Dunkin' Donuts shrink with you guys. It's this entire field of grass and I see this dog run by super freaking quick and I'm like, oh my God, what is going on? But the owner, um, the dog is reunited with the owner. I literally had to drop everything. I was like, cause there is a road over there like over in that area is a road and I didn't want the dog to get hit by a car. So I drove all the way around to the other side and I was about to run into the field, but then I saw the owner started whistling and calling the dog's name. So the dog ran to the owner. Thank God this was a good ending. She is reunited with her owner. I'm staring at them right now. Oh my God, you guys. I was like, Am I seeing something? Am I dreaming right now? The dog looks so happy running through the field. Like it looked like it was just magical. But then I was like, wait, wait, wait. It has a collar and a, and a leash, but where's the owner? And I started freaking out. Oh my God. That was, I cannot believe that just happened. Anyways, back to the Dunkin' Donuts. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Um, I would say it's a little bit sweet for me. I definitely would dilute it, but overall it's really good. I think I would like it better with the sparkling water, but I would say I was sad that they ran out of that. Next we have the banana chocolate chip bread. So let's see what this is all about. Ooh, it's very soft. I love banana bread, by the way. Mmm. Wow. Where are they now? I love banana bread. Mmm. The banana bread is good. It's not too sweet. It's a very subtle sweetness, which I love. There's chocolate chips in here. So soft, melts in your mouth. Very spongy. Mm. Oh, I love when um when like pastries and dessert, they're just the perfect amount of sugar. It's not too sweet. It's just very subtle. Ten out of ten. I'm giving the banana bread a ten out of ten. I'm giving the drink It's good. Like an eight out of ten. This is good. Mm. Oh, it's so spongy. Like, can you see that? So good. Wow. I can't believe that just happened. I hope that she's okay. I would have a heart attack if I lost one of my dogs. Mm. Can you guys hear um, me swallowing my water with this mic? Okay, friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and joining me on this journey where we try new items. I have to cut today's video short because I have to go home and get some work done because I am heading out of town for the next few days. And I'm so excited for it because we are taking you to Din Tai Fung and we're taking you to Fogo de Chao. However, I think I can film there, but I'm not too sure. Um, hopefully it's not too loud. Hopefully I'm able to bring my camera in. That is the plan for this week. 
So hopefully, I know Din Tai Fung will work work out because we filmed there before a few months ago, and you guys loved it so much. And we always love a good Din Tai Fung reservation. So that is what we're doing. But thank you so much for hanging out with me. As always, I appreciate you. I love you guys so much. And if you guys enjoy these type of videos, please, please, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. If there are items that you love getting at certain restaurants or fast food drive throughs in particular, please let me know in the comments down below so we can try it out in the next video. I will see you guys then. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe to my vlog channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.